What you have now is a finished sweater except for a few details, um, as in weaving in the ends and blocking. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. It doesn't take long. The hard part is behind you. First thing you need is a tapestry needle. You're going to thread those ends onto the tapestry needle and then in the wrong side of the work, just weave this in a little bit back and forth. Now there's a super correct way of doing this in the stockinette stitch, but I find this works just as well to weave it in like this, especially if you're working with wool, because wool sticks to itself. Now after you've woven it in for an inch and a half or so, is usually what I do, then you can cut it short and you don't have to worry about anything unraveling. Okay, so after you've done that, you have a complete sweater with no ends sticking out and the last thing you want to do is block it, which is another word for washing it and laying it out flat to dry the way that you want it to dry. The first thing you want to do is to fill a sink with lukewarm water with a little bit of wool wash. I like to use the kind of wool wash that doesn't require rinsing. Uh, you put your wool in there and let it soak for 15 minutes or a half an hour and then you take a towel that you're, a towel you're not worried about any color transfer, an old towel. Um, you give the sweater a ring without twisting it lay it out onto the towel, roll it up like a burrito, and step all over it to squish out the extra water. And that's a way of kind of wringing it without wringing it. It's, it's safe for the, the sweater. Then you want to find a place to lay the sweater out so that um, it can dry. You want to lay it out exactly how you want it to dry. However it is, that's how it's going to dry. So this is your chance, especially if you're working with wool to get an extra inch in length that you feel like it might need or an extra inch in sleeves, whatever it is. However you lay it out, wool is so forgiving, it's going to dry exactly how you leave it. And then um, with something that's double thick like this, I will let it dry on one side and flip it over and let it dry on the other side. If you have a ceiling fan in that room, that cuts the drying time down dramatically. Just remember to keep all pets out of the room. Ask me how I know this they will go after the wet wool because <laughs> it smells like a wet sheep. And then you're done. Once it's dry, put it on a kid, send me a picture.